Good morning. Hey, uh, this is Greslin, and we are back, and today we're going to talk about Starfield, and I want to talk about AI. Uh, this is something I've been... Uh, if you've been watching me for a while, if you've been seeing the work I do, you know, I, AI is kind of my jam, and I've been playing Starfield now since uh, the early access period. So, uh, according to Steam, I've logged about 400 hours into it, and I've gone through NG Plus twice, and I think I've played through just about every quest in the game. And there's a lot about this game that I love. There's a lot about this game that I don't. Um, and there's some things about this game that frankly piss me off. And when I played through this game for the first time, and you can see it in Hi Sarah, you can see it in the the first impressions video I did. Uh, I noticed that things were off about the AI. Uh, I never, I couldn't quite put my finger on it. Um, other than the combat AI just struck me as very janky and unresponsive and frankly bad in ways that strangely made me nostalgic for even Fallout 3, which was notoriously bad. Uh, Starfield's combat AI, vanilla combat AI, is atrocious. It's just, it's just terrible. It's one of the one of the worst combat AIs Bethesda's done. Um, and... My fear when I did that video and I, when I saw that happening was that they had changed something in the engine, uh, that something about the, the fu their fundamental AI system they had changed and basically made it something that we couldn't fix. And because Bethesda's AI system, let me explain something here, Beth Bethesda's AI system is old. It is really old. Uh, it goes, it dates back to the 90s. Uh, it's based purely on finite state machines um, and for the most part randomization it's the kind of it's, it's combat AI the way it was done back in like the days of Half-Life uh, it has not really changed at all since about 97 98 so if you've if you've played any Bethesda game in the last 25 years you you played the Bethesda AI. It's the same system. Uh, and again, my fear was that say it somehow changed the system and made it even worse. Now, recently, XSet has been released, allowing for writable plugins now, so I could actually go in and start experimenting with the AI system to see how bad the damage was. And that was once once I started really digging into it. That was when frustration turned to just being really pissed off with it. Uh, because the good news is they didn't change the underlying system. It's the exact same system. Same system as Fallout 4, Fallout 3, 3 New Vegas, Oblivion, Skyrim. It's the same damn system. Nothing has changed. The, what changed in Skyrim was that they didn't configure the damn thing. There are large chunks of configuration data that are simply missing. Uh, they didn't finish it. Uh, they... I don't know how to explain this. Um, they did a couple things that... It, it, just feels, it feels like looking at how it was configured, it looks like it was put together by somebody who didn't understand the Bethesda AI system at all. And so they took the shortest path to a workable game. Uh, for one thing, all of the enemies are are unaggressive, meaning they don't shoot you until you shoot them, unless you get really up close. Uh, that is ridiculous. Uh, that means that you... Now, let me say, okay, the enemies the enemies are unaggressive. All the good guys are aggressive. All the, ga all the guys that Bethesda wants you to sympathize with. Uh, United Colonies, uh, Free Star Rangers, uh, security, all those guys are aggressive. They will shoot first, if necessary, if they see an enemy. All the bad guys won't. They will sit and wait until they're shot by the good guys. That's how it's coded. Uh, the companions, like Sarah right there, in vanilla, have no combat AI configuration at all. Nothing. They're using the they're using the Bethesda AI engine AI at its most very basic configuration states it's default which I, I I don't even know what to say about that 
that other than I don't know, lazy, incompetence, ridiculous, garbage. I don't I don't even know where to start again with that. Um so anyway, uh the last couple of weeks since since X had dropped with the writable version, uh I've been going through and I've been I've been finding all these little problems and fixing them it up and doing my best to bring Starfield Starfield's AI up to the level of at least vanilla Fallout 4. At least a job that Bethesda should have done. Uh, so I've got it, I think I've got it pretty much where it should be. Uh, I want to but what I want to do is I want to end this video show you a before and after. And you're going to have to watch in detail. I'm going to try to narrate as we go along. Um, but I want to show you the vanilla version of the vanilla AI and kind of point out what it's doing. And I want to show you then my changes. And you can decide for yourself which game you'd rather play. I uh, So let's let's just get started here. We are in, this is Nova. Uh, this is the Nova Shipyards. This is the beginning of the game. Uh, my character here is about a level four. Uh, it's the very beginning of the main quest, uh, where you just you just hooked up with with Sarah at the lodge, and she wants to go grab an artifact. And now we're trying to track down this guy named Mora. Um, we're trying to find out where he is, and this is the stage that we find out where he is. Um, this place is overrun right now by Ecliptic. Uh, they're the mercenaries. Uh, they're the equivalent of gunners from Fallout 4. Uh, they should be military. They should be should be on the ball. Uh, there's also a group of spacers who are here before the ecliptic show up, and the ecliptic is trying to clear them out. So we've got two types of groups here: uh, spacers not that disciplined, ecliptic should be military disciplined, solid. Um, and we're walking into a gunfight on both sides. Um, again, this is vanilla. So Sarah has no AI configuration. She is running on pure default. Uh, and everybody else, uh, again, unaggressive, high, um, the offensive, defensive configurations are completely screwed up. Uh, the weapons usage numbers are not great. Um, evasion numbers are virtually non-existent. Uh, they, the only reason why these guys are a threat at all is because they're bullet sponges. They will just keep shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting. And so you manage to put enough bullets into them, they fall down. So, okay. Enough about me bitching, enough of my rant. Let's just get on with this. I want to show you, and, and more to the point, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do this with a pistol. This is a neon. I could go into this with a maelstrom. And I may still fall back on the maelstrom, but... Yes, we're already looking at the corpses. Don't need the money, but we're going to take it anyway. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. Alright, so that is Sarah's opinion of them and I would tend to agree. Let's go. Head to my crew position. Yeah, your crew position is back on the ship, Sarah. Here and we should start seeing a gunfight down there pretty soon. Let's see, there's the ecliptic spacer fight. Now let's see, we got a guy down here. Did you hear that? Yes, I heard that. We're gonna have a guy here in the kitchen, just standing there, not doing anything. Oh, now you just realized I'm here. Hi. Night night. What are they doing here? While we're doing this, I also want you to watch uh, Sarah's behavior. Dead ecliptic. Dead, Dead ecliptic. Oh, 
well, not yet, but... Bullet sponge. Get ecliptic. Get some ammo. Oh, hi! Dead ecliptic. So they all just kind of stand there and wait for you to shoot them. Okay. Oh, there you go. Dead spacer. you're already thinking, but this is only a level 4 combat map. You're a brand new character. It shouldn't be hard. Well, I would agree with you if this AI got any better. But again, I played 400 hours of this game. This is as good as the AI gets. That's Spacer. Don't take cover. Don't take cover. Covers for pansies. Just get out there and shoot things. Dead spacer, dead spacer. Pixel hunting. Dead spacer. Dead spacer. Again, this is as good as the AI gets in the Starfield. I swear to God, it does not get better than this. You will spend the entire game pixel hunting. And once you've got a gun with a scope, the game's pretty much over. Okay, we got at least six more over here. One guy in the bathroom, there we go. just kind of loot for ammo, which I should not be doing. This is definitely not safe to turn my back on these guys. Well, it wouldn't be safe if they were actually competent. Sarah's pissed. Oh, hi. Sarah's gonna shoot the floor for a while. That ecliptic. 
Dead ecliptic. Sarah's doing something. Not sure what exactly Sarah's doing, but she's doing something. Dead ecliptic. Alright, let's check for ammo. Sarah's being an amazing help. Okay, and then we're going into the actual, like, repair yard here. Well, not quite yet, but soon we're going to the actual repair yard. Should be a dozen guys in here, and our goal is our goal is to get to that little spot. Our real goal is just to kill a bunch of morons. There should be at least two right here. Stop it. Stop it. Luckily the ecliptic's on just to here and wait for me. Very nice of him. Dead ecliptic. I should also point out that Sarah's aim sucks. Sarah's big utility is to be a distraction. This was not intended, hold on. There we go. Sorry about that. Luckily, Sarah has not managed to actually kill anybody since I fell down there. God forbid she should hit something. Serves me right for trying to do this before I really, before the coffee is kicked in. Hi. Okay, 
so we got two left on the radar. Get a clip tick. And I think Surge is finished the last one off. Over here. And this is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some And there's our Amora slate. We've just cleared Nova. Alright. That's the way this game was supposed to play out in vanilla. To get the That's uh, that is how the AI plays out in vanilla in Nova. Like I said, I you know if you're happy with the game, if you're happy with it like this then by all means, just enjoy it. I, I'm not telling you not to enjoy this game. I'm just telling you that this game, this AI was not put there to give you any sort of a challenge and don't expect it to progressively get better. Uh, the combat AI stays this bad throughout the entire game. So, what we're gonna do now is we're going to, I want to show you, we're going to go through that whole thing all over again, except this time we're going to do it with my fixes. And it's going to take a little bit longer, because we're going to be doing a lot more hiding from, from fire, and I'm probably going to die at, one at some point. So, just bear with me here. Alright, so we are back here. Uh, this is, once again, the Nova Shipyard. Uh, there's the corpse that we've already seen. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with the pistol. I may ha I'm probably going to have to switch up to a different weapon pretty quickly because they're not just going to stand there. Um, let me explain some of the changes I've made. Uh, first of all, I've I've made them all aggressive. They're all they're all going to react uh, to me on site. Uh, I've rebalanced their offensive defensive numbers, so they're going to take cover a lot more effectively, but they're also going to push the advantage more. Uh, I've I've changed up a bunch of the overall game settings using Forrest Gimp's AI edits from Fallout 4 as a baseline, uh, converting a lot of the numbers over to the Starfield systems. And so they're going to search farther, uh, they're going to be more aggressive with cover, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to switch, they're going to switch up cover less, but they're going to advance with cover more. Um, what else? Uh, they're their search times are have been increased by about 50%. Uh, their sandboxing has been increased. The, the amount of the, the, the space they can take up when they sandbox has been increased, so they're gonna be patrolling a little bit more. Um, but in terms of like the, the AI that Bethesda didn't do, uh, I've because those are those are all modifications to the baseline system. Um, the stuff that AI, the stuff that Bethesda did not do. Uh, they didn't make them aggressive. I made them aggressive. They, their their offensive defensive numbers are pretty generic. Uh, I've retweaked those. I've given everybody better evasion numbers. Um, I've rebalanced their equipment usage so that they're going to be more effective with with what they have. Uh, their aim is significantly improved. Um, everybody has lousy aim in this game. I mean, like, really, really bad. Uh, they want you to feel powerful and overpowered to go in and just, you know, murder everybody. So the so basically, even the mercenaries can't hit the broadside of a barn. And Sarah, <laughs> vanilla Sarah can't hit a damn thing. Um, unless she gets very lucky. So... I, there are some other changes. You can, you can read up. This, uh, this, this modification, this mod is up on my Discord. Uh, it's called uh, Ad Aggressive Enemy AI. It's a sort of a prototype, uh, a static prototype for the work that we're going to do with pack attack starship tro uh, starfield troopers in a few months when when the creation kit comes out. Um, but so let's just enough of me talking. Let's just do this. Same gun. Let's check here. You can keep you can keep your credits, buddy. I don't need them. It'd be good this time to only pick up ammo. Scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with the spacer crew. 
They pillage abandoned facilities. Also, Sarah actually has combat AI them. now. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and her aims better. Survive. So, her AI uh, is a lot more defensive, a lot more cover based. Um, she's she's also going to be aggressive. Uh, so, for the most part, I wanted since she's former UC, I wanted her to be conservative. Uh, well, you know, it's to plant firmly when she fires, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, just kind of keep an eye on what she's doing. Okay. See, those guys are already red. They already heard me come in. So basically, as soon as they see us, they're going to start shooting. I haven't I haven't yet messed with the stealth numbers yet. He was facing the other direction, so that's that's why he didn't hurt immediately. I should say, at the end of the day, this is still Bethesda AI, so this is about as good as I can get it without getting the scripts involved. So we got one more down here.
Getting med packs because we're gonna need them. Okay, so spacers are about the equivalent to the Fallout Force Raiders. Uh, they're just uh, a disorganized bunch of scra scavengers. Uh, ecliptic are the mercenaries, they're more like gunners. They should have at least some degree of military discipline. Okay, Sarah, let's get going. They react and go for cover. Okay, we still have these six targets out there. You know. Well, that guy just took off. Okay, which means he's going to show up when we at least want him to. So let's. probably saying after me bitching about reaction time and all that why are they still not reacting to you well this is still Bethesda's AI so again 1990s era system there's only so much that I or anyone else can do without creation kits and scripting tools at which case, at which point, I look forward to the work, starting the work of porting PA and PC builds to this game. Now we get to the center room. Again, all alerting immediately.
The thing with Sarah actually having combat AI is that you can actually use her as a distraction and support. She actually hits things. Alright, last two of them. There you go. Always fun to watch. Our last guy. Come on, little buddy. Oh, sir, you heard him too. Where is he? There he is. Get him. That's the end of the Nova Shipyards. And there's more sleep. All right. Now, to my eye, the fix is definitely improved. Hold on. Sarah. To my eye, the fix has definitely improved this AI. Uh, this particular run was fairly smooth. Uh, they don't always lay out this smoothly. Um, and most of what we're doing here is mutual bullet sponging. So when you get the best of it, lay in the bullets. When you got, when you don't, you need to reload, get behind cover quickly. Um, but again, at the end of the day, this is still the best AI. And it's going to be until CK comes out and we can script this up and make some maneuver improvements and do the kind of you know do the kind of shenanigans that I did with PC, uh, which I look forward to. But it's going to be a couple, at least a couple months before we're able to do that. Uh, in the meantime, these fixes should at least bring this game up to where Fallout 4 was when it was first released. Uh, again. I'm not trying to make this game perfect, but I'm and, and I'm just and let me just say, if you like the if you like the way the game already plays, if you're looking at this video and before and after, and you honestly can't see any difference, play the game the way you want to play it, man. That's fine. Uh, it's it's in the eye of the beholder. Play it the way you want to play it. But if you're feeling like there's just something missing from the combat experience in Starfield. There literally is. Uh, they shipped it half finished. Hopefully, the fixes that I've made here at least make the game, at least make the combat experience finished, up to the degree that you can with with Bethesda's antiquated AI. So, again, this is Greslin. This is me bitching about Starfield. Still a great game. Still got a lot of problems. Typical Bethesda experience. So. If you want to get a copy of this of, of this AI mod, it's on my it's on the Gresson Games Discord. It's called Aggressive Enemy AI. We're still fairly early in the tweaks, but it's pretty much feature complete at the moment. I've also overhauled the Model A and Model S bots to be more effective in combat because they were kind of awful. Uh, I've also got another mod called uh, Vasco AI, AI Updated Vasco Updated AI, uh, which actually makes Vasco a, a practical companion very beginning of the game because otherwise mass goes trash so if you have if you have any interest in either one of those drop by the ghost resin games discord and they are there and i hope that this improves your starfield gameplay experience have yourself a great week 
have a lot of fun, get out there, shoot things, find ammo, find weapons, and live your best life. Take care of yourselves. Bye.